Yes, let's start today's session. So in the last session, we just discussed introduction to Python. So let me give just Yes, in the last session, we discussed just the basic introduction of Python. What is Python and what applications we can develop using Python, okay? And what are the features of Python we were discuss and versions. And to know the latest version of Python, I strongly recommend to visit www.python.org. And in the last session, we discussed how to download a Python software and install it, okay? So those who are new to this session, today's session, okay, if you feel this is your first session, I strongly recommend to watch my first two videos of this batch. So even I will send to you that videos to your mail ID also, no problem at all. But uh, meanwhile, if you have uh, free time, then after this class, I strongly recommend to watch my two videos of this session before going to continue this session. Now you can see this, you can go to official uh, YouTube channel of uh, Durga Soft. So now you can see Durga Soft, you have to go to Durga Soft and there you can able to find our Durga Soft solution YouTube channel. And you can go to playlist. Once if you go to playlist here, these are my videos especially this 7 30 pm batch videos they uploaded two videos i strongly recommend to watch these two videos okay. before going to uh, continue these sessions after completion of this you can watch those who are new to these videos uh, this this session session one and session two i just given basic introduction only what is what i said okay so these videos i strongly recommend to watch before going to continue this session and if you have uh, if you have not watched so far then i strongly recommend to watch after completion of the session in that videos i covered this is only what i have written in my notepad window so what is python and this session is completely belongs to python plus django package once again i'm telling you first 45 days i'll cover core and advanced python complete python programming language stuff and later 45 days will cover with django with ui technologies all these things it is a framework web development framework django is for web application development using python if you want to learn django compulsory i strongly recommend to learn python okay so what is python python is a programming language which is used to write coding part for application development so what type of programming language it is it is a general purpose means you can develop any type of applications using python high level yes it is a high level programming language no need to write any explicit code for low level activities for security and uh, uh, memory management purpose and it is dynamically typed programming language dynamically typed means in python programming language while writing code and while declaring variable you need not to specify any data type directly we can declare a variable and assign value to the variable data type will decide internally by python so dynamically means runtime at the time of running the code data type will be assigned for the variable but look at here c c plus plus java c shop dot net are statically typed languages meaning is while declaring data type while declaring variable in these languages compulsory as a programmer you must and should aware what data type is required to assign required to decide so this is integer type because my value is 100 based on your value data type of the variable you should decide but in in python you need not to do that because it's a dynamically typed language dynamically typed means whatever value you are going to assign to the variable based on that value data type will be decided for this variable as i said that okay yes case sensitive programming language yes python is case sensitive programming language how the way you declare variable and uh, uh, functions and classes same way how to access in different ways it's not possible to access and moreover it is interpreted language code will execute line by line and execute code will check line by line and execute 
So this is just the basic things we discussed in the last sessions. You need not to worry about that. And you can watch that videos. Anyway, once we registration completed with us, I'll send that videos also to your Google Drive. No worries at all. And Python is used to develop applications. Why Python moves? Okay. So what kind of applications we can develop using Python desktop, CUI based and GUI based? That means command user interface or graphical user interface. Web applications with Django framework database applications, network programming, gaming applications, data analysis applications like Pandas, Matplotlib, NumPy. These modules also I'll cover in our sessions. And machine learning, artificial intelligence, testing uh, applications. We can develop these many applications using Python. And Python was designed and developed by Guido Van Rosem in the year of uh, 1991. The first version of Python was released in the year of 1991. And the name Python was taken from a TV show, that TV show name called Monty Python Circus. Okay. And what are the important features of Python? Easy to learn and use. Yes, we can able to learn Python easily because it's very simple syntax. And compared to other languages, it is completely expressive language, user-friendly language, we can say. It is an interpreted language, that means, code will check line by line and execute. It's a cross platform or platform independent. We can use any platform like we can able to run on Unix and Windows and Solaris and Mac OS, other operating system is possible. This is cross platform or platform independent. And Python programs are portable. So that means we can migrate from one platform to another platform. So result will not be changed even though if we shift from one platform to another platform. Means if you write code in Windows operating system using, and later we can execute that same program in other operating system, result will not be changed. That is called portable in nature. And Python is completely free and open source, and you need not to, uh, what we can say, uh, to pay anything uh, to get a Python software. It's completely free and open source. The source code of Python is completely open to everyone. We can able to customize that code for your application needs. So Python is completely object-oriented programming language. If it is object-oriented, then what are the main advantages? Means security will be there, the reusability will be there, and application enhancement facilities also there if your programming language is object-oriented. Yes, Python is perfectly object-oriented programming. And extensible feature is there because once you write code in C, C++ programming part, you can able to extend that logic with our Python. And it's having huge standard library because of this reason only nowadays Python become a popular language because once we download Python software and install, you will be able to get plenty of standard libraries, different, different application orientation libraries will come. So use that libraries and as a programmer, you must and should know how to use these libraries according to your application needs. And Python supports GUI support, graphical user interface facilities also will be there. These are the basic features what we have. This is only I discuss in a in that two videos what I have shown in my in our Turkas of YouTube channel videos. Okay. And the versions of Python is first version of Python was 0 0.9.0 and later 1.x, 2.x, 3.x. There are a lot of subversions are there. Okay, but these are the main versions. And if you want to know that which version is currently stable version, I strongly recommend to visit this the official website python.org. Let's flip to official website python.org. Now you can see python.org. Now this is official website. <coughs> now you can see, click on download option and you'll be able to see this download Python 3.9.6. Once we click on it, immediately you'll be able to get quickly a downloadable file, executable file for Python software. This is the first step you must and should do when before going to continue uh, start your programming. Okay, first step what we need to do visit python.org website officially, click on downloads and click on download Python 3.9.6. This is the latest and stable version. And you can able to uh, run on Windows and Linux, Unix, Mac OS, and other operating system. It's a cross platform, I said. Once you got this downloadable file, then immediately what we need to do, you can see this way how to install it. How do we install it in the last session I have shown clearly. So go to download, 
and you will be get python 3.9.6 and double click on it so look at here in my computer it shows modify setup because already i have installed this python software in my computer that's what it's showing me modify repair and install but in your case for the first time when we install when we try to install it you will not get this kind of options you will get only two options one is install now next one is customize installation okay but as i shown that in the last session okay clearly how in how to install it's not a big deal everybody can able to install very quickly within one minute of time it will take much more not okay you will be able to get these two options here in this window install now customize installation before going to click on install now i strongly recommend to activate one checkbox you will be able to notice here checkbox here add python environment path variable you just activate the checkbox and click on install now two times next next install it that's it no matter it's very simple to install so still if you have any confusion watch my second video of python you will be able to get clear idea no problem at all it's not a big deal okay once we install this python software as i said in the last session you will get an editor tool what is that ide so every programmer if you take any programming language not only python i'm speaking if you take c c++ java c sharp dot net javascript anything editor software is must editor is a just a software tool where we can write and execute our python code or our programming language code suppose c programmers will have the editor called c uh, turbo c notepad code block something java programmers will have editor like uh, netbeans eclipse edit plus notepad plus plus anyway okay my eclipse dot net programmers will have visual studio same python programmers will have an editor tool called default editor tool will come when we download and install python software that is ideally it stands for integrated development learning environment this is the default editor once we download python software and install in your computer this is the default editor so but now i want to show you clearly how many possible ways to write python program and execute this is for sure this is important you have to follow from here onwards so different 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 ways different ways to write to write python code python code and execute this i want to show you now please concentrate it's very simple different ways to write python code and execute first way is using interactive mode using interactive mode next way is using using script mode using script mode next way is using python ide software yes and next way is which is most important which i am going to follow completely in our sessions using pycharm editor pycharm editor using pycharm editor understand sir yes now you can see first i am going to show you using interactive shell interactive mode sir how we will get interactive mode i'll show you so just whenever we download python software and install you will get by default one editor i said ideally okay so when we open ideally you will be able to notice that is interactive mode only i'll tell you what is that interactive mode how do we work with them okay so go to search type ideally as soon as when we click on ideally here you can see ideally you are noticing that integrated development learning environment just click on it so once you click on it what is going to happen here that interactive window is going to open to you look at here interactive window is opening here this is interactive shell python ideally shell 3.9.6 would you like to continue by writing script of python here you can able to write it for example simply i can say hello and then press enter you will get output here if you want to add two numbers a value 10 b value 20 and c equals a plus b or c value if you want to get result what we need to do c then press enter you got result here clear so because just now i told you python is dynamically typed programming language so based on the value data type will be assigned for the variable but is this valid item sir no it is invalid because integer type you should not decide here because python is dynamically typed completely so based on your input value data type will be assigned for your variable 
but as a programmer if you want to know what type of variable it is type function is there this is a type built-in function which is used to get the data type of the variable press enter you got integer type so it depends on your value data type will be assigned for your variable who will assign internally python will assign explicitly we need not to give any data type that's not required but look at here a equals to 23.4 and now this time i want to know that what type it is type of a float type and a equals to durga i'm giving here and type of a is what type it is string type if i give a equals to only single character i'm giving type of a is what type it is string type only the reason is what a is single character but even though it is string why because in python there is no care data type even single character also if we give that will take what actually string type only here. string type only for sure okay so this is what interactive window you are just interacting you with this window by typing your code and press enter you got an output like this you want to proceed to continue you can keep on continue while writing python script like this one this is option number one you have okay let me close this option number two script mode in this script mode you have to write your complete python script how much you want you can write it and after completion of writing your python program you must and should save with a dot py extension make sure that you must and should save with a dot py extension so i'm going to show you one script mode for this i'm just opening notepad window look at here i'm just opening notepad window this is notepad this is also one of the editor we can say that so what i'm writing in my notepad window now you can see here welcome to welcome to durga soft durga soft welcome to durga soft this is my code but do you think is this python script no right now it is not but when it will become python script yes you have to save whatever we have written code in notepad window you have to save with the by going to file menu and click on save and you can save it anywhere i'm just choosing desktop as per my convenience so i'm going to give the name of the file is test.py extension is required so python file extension is .py i'm going to saving my python file using .py extension test.py is my file name click on save it once you save it then my script is ready which i have written in my notepad I, my script is ready script file is ready to run this where, where it is located in desktop so this is called script mode script mode means you can write your python script in any other editor window and save with a .py extension after saving that you can run it but how do i run this uh, test.py file here yes you can able to execute this test.py file in two different ways first way is using command prompt second way is using your ideally software i'll show you both the ways how to run this test.py through command prompt first then how to run this test.py file through ideally software i'll show you both the ways anyways you can do it no issue at all command prompt means just normal operating system windows operating system command prompt let's go to search and type command and you'll be able to see this command prompt here click on it and you can see this my location is c drive users lenovo is there but your file is present in where desktop so i have to move to desktop i have to change my directory to change the directory cd space desktop just i'm taking cd space desktop press enter now you are in the desktop location and your file also present in desktop location your file is test.py if you want to run python file then python you have to supply command python or py space your file name is what test.py then press enter you got output clearly welcome to google Soft. and or else other way also there py space test.py this is very simple way to run writing code in notepad that is script save with the dot py and run through command prompt this is the option python space test.py or py space test.py this is very simple okay you can also run this or you can also execute this using your python ideally software how python ideally software will come for the first time when we download and install python software you will get test.py uh, you will get python ideally 
let's go to open ideally again ideally software i'm going to open press enter you got uh, interactive shell but i don't want to write interactive shell through because i have already my script file of python so i would like to load that script file already which is available into this python ideally software how do we load that click on file menu and click on open yes you are going to open existing files are here so that's the reason you have to go to file menu and click on open option and locate the file where it is available you just go to desktop and my file is present in my desktop select this and click on open simply so whatever you have written in your notepad window that's opening here you would like to continue to run then go to options sorry go to run menu run menu there is run module yes every python file dot py file is act as a module only sir okay we'll come across module discussion later or else you can hit uh, f5 button from your keyboard when i click on this now you got output in the interactive shell welcome to the this is what existing file already which was written in notepad and save with the dot py either you can run through command prompt or you can run through using python ideally software this is second option we completed using script mode okay third option is there sir sir why don't we go directly python ideally software why don't we create there only a new file and without depending on notepad or something okay yes we can do that that's what i am using option three directly you can go to ideally software and there we can prepare your own file or new file and write it and make sure that save with dot py and run it that's it everything is one location let me go through third option using python ideally how i'm going you can see this for this ideally is required to open now now you can say i'm opening ideally software sir again ideally 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 let's click on it now as soon as when we open ideally software you will be able to locate that interactive shell only but i don't want to write through interactive shell i need to prepare a new file here so file menu you have to go to file menu and click on new file right now i'm going to choose new file because previously i did open but i'm not going to exist i'm not going to open existing file i'm opening new file i'm creating new file here click on new file here also untitled notepad with PyCharm, uh, python ideally through it will open and you can write any code here just simple code i'm taking a value 10 b value 20 and uh, print uh, print uh, print any basic code i'm writing just a plus b i want to do this this is my script of python but make sure that directly when we go to run and run module don't do that because we have must and should save here when i run this one it will ask you to save before run or check source must be saved let me cancel it i want to save this file menu click on save it click on save it and now you can see where it is where you want to save you can save it i'm going to choose again desktop and now this time i'm going to choose my file name is test one dot py is must and should require and click on save it once you click on save it and it's ready to be executed how to be ready run menu and run module that's it it's very simple over so whatever the options you want you can go through it i have shown three options here using interactive using script mode using python ideally but make sure that i will never follow any one of these options which i have shown right now in my sessions in my sessions just for practice purpose one time you can give a trial for this because you as a programmer you must and should know uh, what are the possible ways to write python script and execute in basic ways but i'll fix with completely PyCharm editor including django applications web applications also i'm going to use PyCharm editor for that also complete core and advanced python i will teach you through this PyCharm editor and complete django web application development okay run server everything i will teach you through PyCharm editor PyCharm is the most popular editor for python beginners because a lot of advantages will come from this editor tool okay so apart from pycharm so many programmers will use other editors like autumn software autumn is one of the editor and jupiter or spider or visual studio code and you can use as per your comfortable edit plus notepad plus plus like that but i strongly recommend to use pycharm editor personally so this pycharm editor i'm going to use it now so now 
our intention, our, our main target is PyCharm editor. So PyCharm editor, how to download and install, I'm going to show you. Okay, because when we first time, yes, for your kind, for, for your kind information, sir. Even though if you want to work with PyCharm editor, you must and should download and install Python software first. Then after you should go through PyCharm editor. Understand? Yes. So I have done with my Python software, like Python software I have installed, we got ideally software, no issues at all. Now it is required to uh, download PyCharm editor and install it. So now coming to the PyCharm editor option here. How it is? Yes, go to Google, go to Google. And these are the steps to download PyCharm editor. Go to Google and type download PyCharm, download PyCharm. Once you click on download PyCharm, look at here, there is the official website, official website, jetbrains.com here, jetbrains.com. So this is the jetbrains.com, PyCharm was completely designed and developed by JetBrain community. So this is the official website, you can click on it and you will be able to notice the two options here. Okay, two options are there. So here option number one is professional for both scientific and web Python development with using HTML, JavaScript and SQL support and download free trial version. I'm not going to do this. In the Django web application development purpose, I'm going to use this download for professional version only required for that. And right now I'm going to work with community for pure Python development purpose. It's a free, completely open source. It's free, free, completely. Okay, no need to do any license, all those things. But for this only one month trial period they will give after that you need to take license okay so without license also we can able to work it how to work it i'll show you later now no worries at all whenever i go through django applications at the time i'll show you professional editor through how to make setup of professional pycharm editor okay and now coming to this community version i'm going to download so click on download this click on download this now you can see you will be able to get pycharm community.exe file you are going to download it it's around 366 MB. It takes one minute of time to download it. After downloading, installation is very, very pretty simple and straightforward. No need to do any changes in the middle. Just double click on that PyCharm community editor. Okay, after executable file you get, double click on it. And three times you just click on next, 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 install it. That's it, no need to do anything. Okay, because already I have in my computer PyCharm editor, so I'm not going to do installation and no need to show the installation steps also because that's not a big deal. I'm saying that once you download PyCharm community editor version and you will get PyCharm community.exe file, I'll show you while going to download folder. There you just double click on that PyCharm community.exe file and you will be able to get some wizard windows. Click on next, next, next three times. Don't do any activation or deactivation of checkboxes in the middle of installation of PyCharm editor, I'm saying. Okay, and click on finish. Your PyCharm editor software is ready to open. So now I got successfully downloading here. So once I download completed here, okay. So close this and you can visit download folder immediately. So I'm just going to download folder in my computer. So notice that you will have PyCharm community 2021.1.3 20, version. This is the PyCharm community version, latest version. Double click on it. Once you double click on it, you will be able to get like this only. In my computer already PyCharm editor is there. So we can see this. Now you should say accept S, yes, but I'm not going to do S, yes, but in your case, you have to say S yes only. I'm saying no. And you can see current version of PyCharm community edition is already installed. Do you wish to continue? I should say no. Okay, so you have to say, you have to proceed by clicking on next, 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 install it. It's very simple, nothing to worry that. Okay, so after downloading PyCharm community edition, double click on next, 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 install it. Once you install software successfully, PyCharm editor, how do we open search? Yes, go to search, type, PyCharm, type PyCharm. Now you can see here we have PyCharm Community Edition 2021. Like this, you'll be able to get an icon. So just click on it. Once you click on it, 
for the first time when you open in your computer you will be able to get create a new project for the first time when we open in your computer you will be able to get a create a new project so you just click on new project give the project name click on ok but in my case what is going to happening recently with what project i have ended that project is loading you can see this python project at 5 pm for 5 pm batch i have handled this uh, project so it's going it's going to redirect directly that only but in your case for the first time when we download and install pytrameter it will ask you to create for the first time new project just click on new project create a new project that's it i'll show you how to create project also even in my editor also this is my previous uh, project which i opened recently but if you would like to create a new project here what is the options are there you can see this file menu in pycharm editor go to file menu click on new project look at here click on new project is there click on new project and it will ask you to do create a new project here python project at 7:30 7:30 i'm taking it's my project name right now okay from now onwards this is our project i'll continue till the end of the sessions python project at 7:30 just to click on create sir click on create that's it and it will ask you to do this this window or new window or attach or cancel i'm going to make this this window that's it you can see this your project and your virtual environment is creating this is first step you have to do with pycharm editor create a project project is nothing but it's a collection of python files once you create a project you can include any number of python files into that project and keep them separate so from now onwards what i will do for every program explanation i will create a new python file with proper name and i'll store into my project whenever it is required or recap the uh, project uh, files or python files easily we can do so this is the way to work with python editor right now what i did just i create i am attempting to create a project sir whenever for the first time you are attempting to create a new project in python editor it will take few minutes to create a virtual environment so virtual environment is a a separate isolation environment for your project which is going to be run so it is going to run separate environment apart from other environment uh, what we can say disturbance so this project is going to be creating virtual environment to run separately in isolation way to run yes now you can see this for the first time in your case also as i said that when we open pycharm editor first time it will ask you to create a new project click on new project option give the project name any name and click on continue you will be able to get this kind of file only main.py main.py this is the default file if you want to execute directly you can see this there is a green color arrow mark is there you just hit on this hit on this run main so you will be able to notice here execution is done you are you are getting output here hi pycharm already this is pre written stuff okay just for knowing purpose those who are new to python programming they will check whether it is running successfully or not by clicking on it and run main method now you can see running is successfully done but i don't want to run this one i need to create my new python file how do we create a new python file okay some settings also there okay font size or uh, background theme all those things i will tell you first settings so if you want to do background themes or i need not to work i don't want to work with white background color i need to go for dark background color means then you can go to file menu and click on settings option is there you can see the settings even you can reduce font size increase font size all these things i'll show you settings option you can go to it in that setting option you can see this left hand side there is appearance option is there and there is a theme option is there theme drop down list is available and you can expand this and look so many themes are there right now intellij light windows 10 light dracula high contrast will be there once we if you go through dracula then look and feel will be available like this and now click on okay automatically you can see this this black color theme is going to be happen like this okay if you want to continue you can able to continue with no issue at all okay and even you can go through font size changing also again font size purpose we have to go to file menu and settings now observe here font size changing purpose in, in the left hand side editor option is there click on editor option here 
in that uh, font option is there click on font option once you click on font option automatically you will be able to see this font size 20 is there if you want to increase the size then 24 or 22 something you can increase that and after that i'm changing my previous theme only again i will go to appearance and theme will be intelligent light and click on okay that's all it's going to be click on okay yeah it's it's going to be visible same thing only what i did this is the way to do theme setting or font size increment or decrement you can do it but right now i need to create a new python file under this project how do we create a new python file right click on your project name python project at 730 and go to new option and look at here you have to go for select file or else you can go to python file so what is the exactly difference between this file and this file this is python file already you have you are choosing python file that means while giving the name of the program you need not to give extension dot py if you go through this normal this is the plain text file and while giving name of the program compulsory you have to mention dot py extension okay that is for sure and just click on python file i'm just giving name of the file is test and i'm not giving any dot py extension even if we do dot pv extension also no problem then press enter automatically you will be able to create a new file called test.pv now observe here whenever i'm trying to write my python code i'm going to start my python code here but here in this pytravator you must and should use print function for printing something but in ideally in the interactive shell no need to use any print statement direct you can type it but here in this editor compulsory we have to use print but look at here notice this whenever i'm trying to print print so automatically some intelligence box is coming so in that what programmer is ex programmer is typing then automatically it will be recognized and it will allow you to press enter automatically it will capture from that intelligence this is very very important thing what you observed in pycharm what you not observed in ideal is out today so this is user friendly editor so even if you are in the stuck in the, in the middle of the writing program if you stuck then you, you you will get help from this editor tool that is the main advantage so that's what i strongly recommend as a python beginner so this editor is most important editor you can easily manage the things in shell stays but once you know how to write python script and syntax and everything so you can go through any editor for practice that's not a that's not an issue okay so I'm just want to uh, type something here. Print hello. I can say hello Durga Sab. Hello Durga Sab. So it's my code. This is hello Durga Sab. But how do I run this one? To run this one, you just go to run menu, and you can see this. Whenever you go to run menu, you are able to see this run main only it is there. But here I'm going to run this. Click on run this one. Once you click on run this, it will ask you to run which program. So main or test i would like to go to test click on test now you can see your test program is running successfully we got an output in the output window hello durga sir coming it's very simple no yes simply you can able to handle it and after, next time onwards if you want to run this right click on test.py and then run test hello durga sir is working fine if you want to add one more file again go to python project at 730 and go to new and python file and you can see i'm giving test one my new program here i need to write few more program here just a value 10 and b value 20 and print a plus b just i'm trying to print a plus b that's all this program i want to execute right now which program test one dot py to run this test one dot py then right click on test one dot py tab and run test one once I execute this, you got output clearly 30. So if you if if suppose if you did some mistake, for example, wanted I'm not closing bracket properly. Let me show you that how the error is going to display. Right click on test1.py and run test. Then you can see syntax error, unexpected UIF while parsing, end of the file while parsing. You have to rectify this issue and run it once again. Right click on it and run test one. So this is the very easily we can able to manage your python files in python editor especially here okay so here also if you want to know that uh, data type of uh, variable type of a and print type of b like this you can you will able to 
know that here print function is compulsory required to display output so print is a built-in function which is for output now you can see a is integer type b is also integer type because integer type values have taken suppose if i'm taking 10.5 and 20.7 so a plus b is going to add but what type of a is b and a float type only it is there. understand so this is just what actually simple programs which i have shown this is python method so options are very clear interactive mode is there script mode is there write code in notepad and save with the dot py and it can able to run it command prompt or ideally or else directly without this interactive mode without the script mode directly can go to python ideally software and there you can prepare a new file and write code whatever you want and make sure that dot with uh, save with the dot py extension and run it or else apart from these all options i'll go through completely pycharm editor download and install pycharm editor and happily one time you just create a project and after that whenever we uh, open your pycharm editor automatically it will go to that project only you can able to handle easily your python files how many number of files you can able to work with you can add it just keep on adding under your project even you can create new project also you can create new project again here also this is very very simple way to handle from now onwards i'm going to deal all the topics which i'm going to discuss in our python related as well as django related through this pycharm editor only okay yes so this is complete uh, uh, what are the possible ways to write python code and execute okay after this i'm going to discuss most important fundamental concept fundamental concepts in python yes fundamental concepts in python yes most important fundamental concepts what are the fundamental concepts are there every python beginner must and should aware of these fundamental concepts one is comments in python yes comments in python next one is next one is keywords are reserved words in python keywords are keywords are reserved reserved words reserved words in python next one is identifiers identifier next one is variables variables and next python indentation it's very very important most of the beginners will confuse here only indentation i'll explain you clearly what is exactly indentation and next one is multiple assignment yes multiple assignment we can say that multiple assignment multiple assignment so these are important fundamental concepts you must and should aware before going to continue with this python script so let me talk about today comments and keywords and tomorrow we will continue this identifies variables and python indentation multiple assignment all those things so what do we mean by comments here in every programming language comments are compulsory required okay comments are common so comments will describe uh, your program so for example as a programmer you are trying to write some code so while writing code while declaring function while creating class all those things if you want to describe something if you want to write some description about your program then we can use comment section that comment section will not be will not be under execution so python interpreter will ignore those lines from the execution when we keep comments okay when we keep some lines in the comment section and also comments can be useful to understand the program clearly for example you have written some program today but later after few days if you watch your program then when we look back your comments then you will understand clearly the program why you have written at the time of uh, writing code okay where we create a function where we are calling the function clear description if you write that will be useful for us or else if you want to make other people to understand by seeing your code then they'll read your comment section and they'll understand your program clearly and also for example if you have written large number of lines of code and in that few lines if you don't want to consider in the execution but you want to exclude from the execution few lines then you can keep that uh, lines in that comment section and your python interpreter will just ignore those lines 
it will not consider as a part of execution okay without uh, rewriting and removing all those things better to keep comments but comments can be of two types in python actually one is single line comment yes single line comment is there single line comment and next one is multi line comment is there yes single line and multi line comment should be there multi line single line comment always starts with a hash yes every line starts with hash and multi line comments is nothing but starting with a triple quote and ending with a triple quote in between how many number of lines you include then all lines will be considered as a comment section let me check it that practically for example this total program i want to give comment so starting triple quote ending triple quote that's it this is comment and i'm just writing one statement here hello so it's going to work hello only but remaining things is under comes into comment section later if you remove this comments and you want to make this code also into this program part then remove that comment section and run this one we got this complete output here okay or else if you don't want to execute this line only then single line comment if you want then you can keep hash symbol before this line then that will be treated as single line comment let's run this one we got this output here it's very simple to handle this okay this is comment section or else you can write description about your program also and coming to the keywords or reserved words yes every programming language is having keywords or reserved words keywords are the special words we can say or reserved words we can say the words which is reserved for what thing for that thing only we have to use these words okay every keyword is reserved for some particular cause for that cause only we have to use it but other purpose for you are a declaration purpose you cannot use any keywords but how do you know that uh, how to how to know that how many keywords what type of keywords are available in python to know that keywords list i strongly recommend to import keyword is a library import keyword is a library after that after that what we need to do print print keyword dot kw list import keyword the library okay as i said that python support huge standard libraries so import keyword is one of the library in that keyword library name dot class name kw list once i execute this one you will be able to get complete keyword list now you can see this list of keywords these keywords are available in python make sure that false f is capital none n is capital true t is capital but remaining all keywords are lower case only because python is case sensitive programming language you know that okay so what the way it is there same way how to use it in your program so f capital false n capital none e capital true but remaining keywords all are small only understand but make sure that this program will execute anywhere no problem at all in ideally also it will work for example i am opening ideally software you can write it ideally also import keyword import keyword and here print function is not required if you want you can use it keyword dot kw list i am using here it will work no problem at all okay sir anywhere it will work but make sure that in any one of these keyword you cannot declare as your variables for example i am taking my my keyword is df is a keyword actually this keyword is for defining the function but you are using to declare a variable here is this possible sir no not at all possible here you cannot use any keyword or reserved word as your own purpose just i am declaring my variable purpose df it's not invalid syntax if you want to take variable then any other variable you can take teff i am taking it's a valid variable yes this it is not a python keyword then it will happily we can work out it 10 100 values printing here because we are giving declaration so no keyword can be used as a variable if we use your keyword as a variable it will give invalid syntax so this is completely keyword list and fundamental things comment section what we have okay. so this is about today's session just the basic introduction what are the ways to write python code and execute and for sure that in our coming sessions i'm going to use completely pycharm editor only you just be ready for installation of python and pycharm editor while following my videos and after that you can go through our programming part in tomorrow we'll cover identifiers variables python indentation all the
if you have any question please ask me now i'll be clarify your doubts yeah we will you will get this videos once your registration complete with us okay i strongly recommend those who are new to this session once again i am showing you just visit durgasoft.com youtube channel officially durgasoft durgasoft and youtube channel you can go through that they have uploaded my previous uh, session videos two videos just i started recently just i i covered basic things only you can see this python plus django tutorials by mohan reddy you can see this 7:30 pm these two videos i strongly recommend to watch these two videos one and two and this is the third session and even in this session also i explain whatever i uh, covered in this clearly one and two videos this is critical part this session only i entered into programming part you just do it once and anyway after registration session one session two videos also you will receive don't worry about that other than this any question you can ask me now yeah registration complete means yes yes once your registration complete then our team will uh, send your mail id to you then after i'll share all the videos and make it any question from your side and this sessions are belongs to complete python and django if you want to join only for python you can join only 45 days that is core and advanced python and if you want to join package python plus django also you can do it now yes running notes also we will send if you want but same running notes which is there in my material that also you can able to collect it mostly running notes i can say second option is just it is second option is what there in that second option is only one line comment if you want you can single line comment as symbol as symbol this is single line comment now you can see this single line comment it is print hello what is that single line comment each and every line separately you want to comment starts with hash or else multiple lines you want to give comment section then what we need to do starting triple quotes ending triple quotes two lines at a time we are commenting that actually multi line comment is not there in python but it is actually string format only but we can do it yes triple quotes triple quotes single line single line each and every line if you want to comment then before line you can give hash symbol this is comment yes yes So, any question from your side, Mr. Atul, Nitu Prasad, Mayuri, Shankar? Class KW list is a class. Keyword is a library. In this class, completely list format, it is going to be displayed. That all list will be there. List of keywords. Keyword list that is. Yes. No, no, semicolon is not required. If you give also, it will not give any error, sir. In Python programming, semicolon is not required here. So usually we will not use. But in other language, it must and should require. It is optional. If you want, you can give no problem, sir. But not required, I'm saying. Why? Because it is line by line code will execute. It is interpreted language, I said. Automatically, it will, once I move to next line, it is going to end it by default here only. No need to give semicolon, sir. Yes. Any other question? Yes. That's it for today. So see you tomorrow at same time on same link.
will continue where I stop here. So tomorrow onwards will continue from here. So identifiers, variables, multiple assignment and Python indentation. These are very important for beginners. After that, we'll go through our topic wise. Yes, that is only keywords are there. More than keywords not there. These keywords are enough means we cannot include more keywords. No, that's not in our hand. Python supports that means that's enough. Each and every keyword I'll cover in our session. While covering according to topic, I'll tell you clearly why I'm using this keyword. So what purpose? Every keyword will be involved in our programming part till the completion of Python programming. For sure. Yes. So, see you tomorrow at same time on same day.